Hello and welcome to core A of the first block of this second trimester, so weeks 14 to 17. If you're anything like me, you've already had week 14 now, um, you've got a bit of a belly and some of the exercises we were doing, some of the more traditional core exercises, um, the stuff that we were doing before pregnancy and in our first trimester, it's just not possible any, uh, anymore. Many of you are noticing that bulging. So the way we do core exercises starts to change completely and it will continue to look like this as that belly gets bigger and we progress through our pregnancies. So today we're gonna to start breathing on all fours. So we're gonna get into this quadruped position and just practice the breathing here for a few breaths before we start our four core exercises. So breathing in and dropping that belly down, really try and relax the belly, relax the pelvic floor, relax your bum, relax your thighs, no clenching anything. And then as you breathe out, Feel that belly come up and in. And then you're relaxing the belly as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, the belly comes up and in. Try not to arch your back as you're doing this. It's really tempting to, as you breathe in, to just stick your bum out a little bit. And then as you breathe out, to just tuck the pelvis. We'll probably practice that sometime, but slightly different movement from what I want to do right now. It's just allowing that belly to completely relax, allowing the pelvic floor to completely relax. And then as you breathe out, feel that belly come up and in and hug the baby. Breathe in and then breathe out. If you haven't already, try to put one hand on your belly. Then we're gonna take a couple more breaths. Breathing in, feel that belly drop down like a hammock and then breathe out. And then come back in. Okay, so first exercise in this hot in this uh, quadruped position, we're gonna tuck our toes under, and we're just gonna go into a five-second hover. So we're breathing into the belly, letting the belly drop down just like we did before, and then as we breathe out, we're gonna lift our knees just two centimeters off the ground, and that belly's gonna come in and up as we um, as we breathe out. And then breathing in, dropping the knees back down, breathing out, pulling the belly in and breathing out. And we're gonna do that five times, the five second hold. So relax down, nice big breath in. Lifting the knees off the floor. We're not doing this, okay? We're just lifting the knees like two centimeters off the floor. And you wanna try and keep your shoulders over your hands quite challenging on the arms as well. So you're not kind of coming back over here, that makes it way easier, or leaning over here, that makes it way harder and weirder. Breathing in, just lifting those knees, just a couple centimeters off the ground, trying to keep those shoulders over the hands, and come down. Okay, second exercise, we're gonna do a plate or a dumbbell press. I'm gonna do this with a two kilo plate, holding it in between my hands. If you don't have a plate like this, this is 2.5 kilograms, you can use a dumbbell interlaced fingers like this. Uh, this is three kilos. Okay, so coming up into a kneeling position, um, making sure your rib cage is over the pelvis. What we're gonna do is hold the plate like this, or the dumbbell. You're breathing into your tummy, and then as you breathe out, Tummy comes in and up to support you, and you press the plate out. Breathing in. It's hard on your arms, it's quite a lot on your back as well. There's a lot for this whole core canister. Everything's coming in and up to support you. What you don't wanna do is, we're gonna do this about 10 times, is no leaning back as you do it. Okay, so if you lean out, lean back, that makes a counterback. You're trying to keep that rib cage over the pelvis and pressing forward. And you're just gonna hold it for just a second out at the end before you come back. Try and keep that back straight as well so you're not leaning over. 
Okay, and if you're using the dumbbell, you're link, linking your fingers like this, holding it kind of like a microphone. Same exercise, just different piece of equipment. And of course, you can adapt the weight to you. You could use a one kilo dumbbell, you could use a dinner plate, you could use a five kilo dumbbell. So it gets really, really hard really quickly though, because it's a really big lever. So breathing into the tummy, and then out, feeling that belly come in, and hug the belly. And hug the baby even. Okay, on your side. I don't know about you, side planks are getting a bit too much for me now. So we're gonna do a great core and um, oblique and glute exercise combined. Okay, so arm, elbow under your shoulder, um, knees together, bent at the hip here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into a wide clamshell, okay? So we're lifting the top leg up and pushing our hips forward, squeezing our bum, breathing out as we come up. My elbow is actually a little bit too far away. I need to bring that in a little bit. Okay, so you're thrusting your hips forward as you open up your, your uh, knees. You should feel it in the side here. You should also feel it right in your bum. It's a really great glute knee exercise. My elbow is starting to sort of slip away and then when it's not under your shoulder anymore, it gets really uncomfortable. And doing 10 of these on each side. Oh, okay, and switching sides. I call this a wide clamshell thing. I don't actually know what it's called. <clears throat> okay, so you're starting with a bend of the hip, breathe, elbow underneath your shoulder, breathing in and then as you breathe up, as you, as you come up, you're breathing out. Four. Five. Opening up as wide as you can. Six. Seven, you can put a hand on your tummy, feel what's going on. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, lying on your back. This is probably going to be the last block that we're lying on our back for. But most of us are still going to feel okay doing this. Okay, so we're going to do our dead bug. We did this last trimester. So breathing in, lifting our knee up, and lifting up the second leg. Okay, there's a couple of variations for you here. First variation, this is where I'm at. Breathing in, and then as I breathe out, and tapping my heel down. Notice I'm not bringing the opposite leg in. That makes it easier. You wanna keep a 90 degree angle here, a 90 degree angle here, and I like to keep a 90 degree angle at the, at the ankle, so that's not so important. Okay, if that's too much, if you're feeling the belly bulging out here, and then just hanging out like this is also a great variation that you can just stick to, okay? So just hanging here, breathing, feeling the abdominal muscles, and if that's too hard, you're feeling a bulging there, then you can have your both your feet down on the floor and we're just lifting one leg up and then the other, okay? Imagine not many of you are gonna be quite there, but, this is probably gonna be a good level for most of you. If you are a little bit further along your pregnancy and you're doing this for some reason, then that might be a good variation for you, although we're gonna move away from um, exercises lying on your back. Last one. Okay, you probably managed to do about 20 of those in the time I was talking. Okay, coming onto your Hands, we're gonna go back through those four exercises again. Knees under hips, hands under your shoulders, a little bit less talking from me, breathing in. As you breathe out, we're going one, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, drop the belly down. As you breathe out, 
One, two, three, four, five. Breathe in as you breathe out. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. Breathing in, and we're going to go. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Okay. Plate press or dumbbell press. Whichever piece of equipment you're using. Hands in a praying position or clasping the dumbbell. Make sure your bum isn't tucked under, hips aren't jutted forward. Rib cage over the pelvis. Use a mirror if you need to. Breathing into the belly. Breathing out. You should feel, even I'm feeling it here in my lower belly as well, coming in and pulling that in and feeling quite a bit in those muscles here, as well as in my back. Keeping that pelvis neutral, no tucking under, no hyper, hyperlordosis. Last three, rib cage over the pelvis all the time, no rocking back or forward. Okay, back to our wide clam clamshell thing. Not very catchy name, I've got to think of something. Right, elbow under your shoulder. Seven, you should be feeling it right in your bum. Eight, nine, last one. Ten, awesome, okay, other side. Elbow right under your shoulder, lifting up and thrusting your hips forward. Hands on your belly, breathing in and breathing out on the way up. Tummy comes in. Five, oh, six, seven, and then go on this side for some reason. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, last exercise moving into the onto your back for the dead bug. Okay, picking the variation that's right for you. Either these heel lifts, if that's what you can do, if that's where you're at. If next level is to bring the second leg up and to hold it there, and the third level is to tap the heels down. You might remember that in the first trimester, we were straightening the leg out completely. That's too much for me now. If you're sure you can do that and there's no bulging going on, go for it. But most of you are gonna be at this level. That's going to be good for you. Okay, last, let's say three on each side. Three, two, and last one. Awesome. Okay, so. That was core A of this second trimester. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you start to get a taste for the different types of exercises that are gonna be, as the belly gets bigger, it's gonna look less like the dead bug and more like some of those exercises that we did, like the plate press, where we're working on the whole core as a canister and not focusing so much on individual muscles. I hope you enjoyed that. That was core A.